In this tutorial, we're going to be analyzing a load placed onto a mannequin segment. So the first step is to, of course, create your scenario file. I have a product file and uh, I need to create my mannequin. So I'm going to switch over to the Human Builder Workbench. To insert the mannequin, you're going to find the Insert a New Mannequin icon, fill out the dialog box, giving uh, Katia the information of how exactly you want this mannequin to be created. Here, I'm going to have this mannequin to represent the average male population. So I'm calling him Average Joe. He's going to be male, and his percentage rate is 50. Next, to apply the load onto his back, I'm going to select on the icon. It does require you at this point to select on a segment. So let's say that I'm, I'm not really paying attention and I click on his forearm. Well, if that ends up being the wrong segment, don't worry about it because in the drop down box at the top, you can just simply select a new entity. So I do want this to be applied to his back, so I'm going to select the trunk area. Enter the mass that you want the load to represent. So here it's going to be about 15 kilograms, so roughly 35 pounds. You can also change the elevation and deviation if you want to simulate more of a push-pull, carry, or um, lift-lower analysis. So imagine that this is simulating um, almost like one of those back pack style leaf blower. So we want to uh, generate now an offset so that way the load isn't directly in like the mid of his back. We want to kind of have it to be brought out a little bit. So we're going to apply the offset with a right click and you do that directly from the tree and you right click and it will um, allow you to find that offset. Now the compass will automatically snap to where that load currently is and it's up to you to just change how you uh, like the location of it where you want it to be and you can do that uh, with a couple of different methods. So we're going to be going through um, two different methods, kind of the free-handed, just click and drag, and then the more precise one, which is the edit. So let's go through the more precise one. If you right-click on the compass and go to edit, you have options here in the dialog box where you can just directly translate or rotate. So all I'm doing here is I'm just rotating that compass so that way it's nicely parallel with our X, Y, and Z directions. And then you can see that this is now more the click and drag approach, right? Where I'm not really telling it an exact distance. I just kind of click on it and I drag it. Now you can also in this dialog box have it to snap incrementally. So I'm setting up an incremental value along the W direction, which is the up down direction. So as I either drag it or manually manipulate it here in the dialog box, it's always going to, in this case, move up and down by that 50 millimeters. Once I'm happy, I click OK. And now we're ready to go into the ergonomic analysis portion. This does require you to switch into a, another workbench, which requires a different license. This is the Human Activity Analysis Workbench. You're going to find from the Ergonomic Tools toolbar the Biomechanics Single Action Analysis icon. Once you select on that icon, the next thing that you have to do is just, of course, click on the mannequin. All right, so this is your dialog box that displays all the results. You have your summary, which will give you um, a bunch of information. Your L4 to L5 spine limit tab basically shows you where the acceptable industry standards are based upon your current configuration and load. You also have your joint moment strength data tab, and this is going to show you the percentage of the population that's not going to be um, capable of performing this particular task. So the cool thing about this analysis is that it is going to stay on your screen and you can see it in either a list of values or a chart, but it's going to update as you make the mannequin move. So here, I'm just going to tell the mannequin to get into a very awkward position with this right, 15 kilogram um, backpack of weight on his back. So again, he's getting into an awkward position and just watch the closer that I, you know, get over to the right hand side of that little chart, the closer I am to exceeding those known industry standards. So as you can see, I'm twisting and leaning him and I'm almost to the point to where I'm past that industry um, kind of accepted 
portion. Here I'm just adjusting a couple of arms so that way you can see that as well. And um, I'm actually in the compression for the NEOSH. I'm actually over the limit at this point. So not only will this update as I am moving the mannequin, but it's also going to update as I vary the load. So instead of having about 35 pounds on his back, maybe I bump that up to where it's a little bit higher. So if I come back over to the spine limit tab, you can see that the higher that I make that load, obviously the higher um, kind of compression and stress I'm going to be placing on his joints and that's sending me basically over the industry standard. And then lastly, you can go in and deactivate the load if you want. So if I act deactivate the load, then now I'm just kind of doing a static unloaded analysis of my mannequin. And that's just done with a right click.